We are joined now by my friend Barrett Leon, who, if you've been watching this show, has been holding down the fort for us while I've been away. I'm so glad to see you again, friend. Oh, and so good to see you. You bring a very important story with you this morning that's really well timed. It's about a very strong woman who's really breaking records. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Emily Kratz is a premier ultra endurance athlete. She's dedicated her latest race to helping military families. So I got to sit down with her and talk about how she's really making the miles matter. It doesn't matter how fast you go. Emily Kratz knows what really matters is to keep moving forward. Just focusing on putting one foot in front of the other. That was her mentality earlier this month in Arizona, as the 45-year-old crossed the finish line in the Coca Dona 250. We basically ran from Phoenix to Flagstaff. A 250-mile run, a marathon nine times over and then some in the span of five days. The first day was the hardest. Mm -hmm. That was had a lot of climbing, very exposed out in Phoenix, so it was hot, and you really had to kind of control your effort because you have like literally four days left. While Kratz is a seasoned ultra endurance athlete, Coca Dona is the longest she's ran in one go, and with the peak of 40,000 feet, the highest too. I think for me, it's just testing my limits, really just seeing what I'm capable of and really challenging myself. You're doing great. A challenge she accepted with a calling by raising money for the SEAL Family Foundation, an organization that helps support Navy SEALs and their families during deployment. So that while our men are out there protecting us, we're helping protect and take care of their families so they can focus on that. And fittingly enough, as Kratz put one foot in front of the other, flying up. active Navy SEALs supported her, keeping pace and company. It was great to talk to them about like what goes through their minds during Hell Week and kind of the, the adventures, per se, that they go on, which are, have a lot higher stakes than what I'm doing, and just the sacrifices that they make every day, which kind of made this a lot more meaningful for me as well. The trails didn't come without trials, but with less than 90 minutes of sleep, Kratz finished the race in just under 92 hours. There's times where your body's not going to want to move, and you're super sore, and you don't think you can, but you just, it's like less thinking, more doing, and just start. So you just focus on the next aid station or you focus on the next mile and you just kind of eventually all that stuff adds up. Making each mile matter. You're planning your next yeah. run yeah. already. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't we just sit for a little bit? Yeah. yeah we can. I have been. Um, but I'm always kind of looking for the next thing. In Burnsville, Barrett Leone, WCCO News. So, so far, Emily has raised more than $33,000. Mm -hmm. She's not done yet. And that's the last time we chatted with her, so that number could be a little higher. She's hoping yeah. to hit 50000 before her fundraising efforts officially close. So we'll show you how to do that on WCCO.com. But my goodness, so I impressive. So I am so impressed. And I bet when some of our big-hearted viewers see that, yes. they might be throwing in a few bucks there, too. Yeah. But, I mean, this is endurance at a different level. Oh, like, my goodness. She, I guess her eating, everything she does has to just be very yes. calculated. Yes. And I, she was telling me you know the training process for something like this Minnesota doesn't have the mountains and True. the altitude you know all the things she was uh, running this in Arizona but so she had to train in Arizona and Colorado a few weeks beforehand just to get acclimated to to that. to that and I mean it's just impressive and her next run um this fall in Italy so that will be another incredible she loves doing this sort of thing because it's a great way to get into nature and yeah. just views that you Never will get to see a diff, like a, a way like that so intimately and yeah we're cheering her on. Babe. Yes, absolutely. Babe. She's as tough as a Navy SEAL. Yeah. Ask me. Oh yeah. Thank you, Barrett. Mm -hmm.